walking the sidelines of the football games, keeping score and uh, the yardage and stuff like this. It's been, he must have been four years old at the time. But, uh, <laughs> so anyway, please welcome Reggie Holly. Pastor Blue, uh, thank you always for your fervent prayers, your spiritual guidance to the community, and your presence. Thank you. Museum Board President Hampton Whittington, Curator Terry Hobgood, and Museum Board members. You all are most gracious to host the seventh annual Black History Month celebration. And your choice of honor could not be more perfect, deserving, and timely. Former Mayor, the Honorable Wim Massengill, it was you who recommended that we as a town salute today's honoree. Our family is forever grateful. To all of you, Peacots, Nelsons, giants of our community and beyond, Good afternoon. I am honored to be among you as we salute a figure worthy of salute, Frederick Douglass Nelson II. Just in case you did not get that, uh, Frederick Douglass Nelson the second, whom I love, respect, and hold in the highest of regard. Nearly 30 years ago, Fred Nelson became a very big part of my life to the sheer delight, or perhaps to the relief of my granddaddy, Joe Peacock, <laughs> who married my Aunt Hazel. To the amazement of my grandmother, Catherine Peacock, he still has all his hair, albeit gray. God bless you, Uncle Fred. <laughs> Since Aunt Hazel uh, was not leaving the city limits of our beautiful Benson, Uncle Fred moved into our hometown and as a result, we as a community have thrived and greatly benefited from his good deeds. How blessed I am to know him as my uncle. How incredibly all inspiring the life he lives encourages others to positively impact our beloved hometown of Benson. For Fred Nelson, through his pioneering experience of being the first African American in this county to win election to office by a write-in, and ultimately rising to the place of Mayor Pro Tem, he has helped to place us at an incredible crossroads of success. We are, and when I say we, I'm speaking of the Peacocks and the Nelsons, and all are, are here today. We are honored that you would choose to select a pioneer uh, as the honoree of uh, this day. And when I think of a pioneer, I think of one 
who has dared to go into an unknown space to clear the brush, to engage as a bushwhacker, if you will, to look back from time to time, not knowing if somebody has got your back. And even if not, one who is willing to continue to clear the pathway. That is what a pioneer does. So that others can walk in the pathway. So that others will meet with some modicum of success. Today, all of us honor a true pioneer. It is fitting that this museum honors Frederick Douglass Nelson II, not only because he is a pioneer, but because of Frederick Douglass Nelson II, we have two women who serve on our town council. I did not say black. I did not say white. I said we have two women who serve on our town council. One is a mayor pro tem, and the other is a commissioner who is elected at large. I submit to you that the pathway was cleared by a pioneer as Frederick Douglass Nelson II. But his pioneering experience is a great reflection upon this town, this place, that we call home. For now, Mayor Medlin, our town is a beacon for all others to emulate, a model for others to emulate. Nowhere in Johnson County will you find two women sitting on a town council. The significance is this. Our town, as one, we have created opportunity for all citizens of our community. And I am proud to say that my uncle, has been on the forefront of that opportunity. Lastly, I would say that indeed there is a place on these sacred walls for a person of color to have a place. It is not in the back room. It's not in the bathroom. It's among these sacred walls where we have all contributed to the history of our town. And at last, we honor a pioneer and I look forward to the day that that pioneer's picture hangs at the front of the building and not at the back.
I believe we have the capacity to make it happen. All of you, all of you have contributed to the rich success of our community. This museum that we are so proud of, so proud of. I salute the uh, president and our board of directors. I salute all of you for the contributions that you have made and I salute Frederick Douglass Nelson II for his induction into this hallowed building. I look forward, Mr. President, to his picture hanging on the wall at the front of the building. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a high honor to be among you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reggie. Um, now I want to call upon our mayor, the Honorable Jerry Midland, to make a presentation to our honoree. Does anybody feel any love in here? Yes. I got to know our friend four years ago when we were riding together to Chapel Hill to go to school as our ethics training. Uh, we were, it was about five o'clock in the morning and uh, you know, we, we did talk to each other but not a whole lot. But I got to know him and understood that this is a guy that uh, is just great. And I just, uh, I just had cataract surgery so I, I have to uh, play around with my eyes and see where they're gonna, they're gonna work. This is an important day for our town. It is an important day to come together as a community, to recognize that we are all unique, different individuals, yet bound together by a common humanity and a desire to work together for the good of our community. The town of Benson is a diverse community and one that is committed to inclusion and making a difference for all. All of you have heard me say many times over the last months and years that I want everybody to have a seat at the table, to have an opportunity to take part in what's going on and what's going, what the future brings. As we've seen today, we're blessed with amazing leaders and speakers in our community. We're also blessed to be here on this important day to honor a man that has given his energy, service, and his passion to the town of Benson. Many of you have been, have seen the news coverage that Billy Graham will lie in honor at the U.S. Capitol this week. The first time a citizen has laid at the U.S. Capitol since Rosa Parks. I saw, quite, I saw a quote by her this week that says, I quote, you must never be fearful about what you're doing when it's right. Amen. Fred Nelson has been committed to doing what is right in the town of Benson since he's been involved since he's been here. The proclamation that was made to him in December as he left the town board of commissioners said it so well. Mr. Nelson bears part of the responsibility for the progress that has been made in Benson over the past two decades. He has served as a faithful servant 
for the citizens of Benton, slow to anger, but quick to address issues that affect the people of Benton, particularly those who may be overlooked and their concerns not represented. He is a man whom God has blessed with much wisdom. In my honor, it is my honor to recognize my friend Fred Nelson as the Town of Benson's Black History Month honoree. And come forward and make this presentation. Clock is <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Medlin. I am overwhelmed. I have a question for you, though, before I make any more comments. How many of you know that Jesus is Lord? How many of you know that Jesus is Lord? And without him, I can do nothing. As a matter of fact, his father, in 1997, as I've learned again and again since, he will have his will and his way, caused me to say something that I had no idea I would say. Because my mind and my heart were set, my lips were set, to say no, I would not, sir. And it came out, yes. <laughs> Even with my tongue to the cleft of my mouth. That's not how you start out to say yes. However, with the support of my family, those of you from time to time in IGA Food Line or even down at Pat's would pat me on the back and give me a bit more encouragement that I had the day before. So I appreciate each and every one of you. I love my darling wife, my grandchildren, my church family, my neighbors in Benson, and I love most of all the Lord. Yes. Amen. Something I want to say to you also is that I'm not actually the second Frederick Douglass Nelson. There were, how many before me? Three more before me. And the fifth is here, and the sixth is sitting beside him. Amen. It speaks to continuity, it speaks to heritage, it speaks to pride. Because our names are who we are. Our names are tagged to us. You might see fit to change it from time to time or use a nickname, but yet our names are tagged to us. I thank the Lord for my name today. Hopefully you will continue to speak it with, with uh, kind words that follow. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. been honored for the last seven eight years to serve on the museum board uh, with Fred. Uh, Fred has been the town's representative and he's been a very valuable board member and has helped us see a lot of things here that we need to see differently and there's things we still need to do which we will do. Um, I have managed to bribe a few members of the St. James Disciple Choir. <laughs> They're not on the program but um, they are going to sing a couple of songs for us. So, Mary Lois, get your group up here, please. In my soul. 
Oh!